For corridors with only one route of escape, the length of the corridor should not be more than 13 meter if more than 36 passengers. The length of the corridor should not be more than 7 meter if less than 36 passengers. In the engine room, there should be two escape routes spread as widely as possible. One escape route leads to lifeboat or embarkation deck. Lift is not considered as an escape means. All escape stairways must be made of steel and enclosed between bulkheads of Class A divisions. In case of tanks which carry highly flammable liquids, the oxygen content in the cargo tanks should be reduced considerably to reduce the hazard of explosion. This process is known as inerting. Inert gas has less than 8% of oxygen and these usually come from main or auxiliary boiler exhaust gas, independent inert gas generator. These gases must be cooled and water sprayed by scrubbers to ensure that they are free from soot and sulfuric acids when they reach the cargo tanks. Entries into tanks are dangerous because there could be lack of oxygen, presence of toxic and flammable gas or poor physical conditions of the tanks. In order to prevent the accumulation of flammable vapors and to ensure the air inside a tank is breathable, venting is carried out. Venting is normally carried out naturally or by mechanical fans. An example of natural venting in a discharged cargo tank while a ship is moving is shown in the graphic.